It will soon cost you if you're caught lighting up anywhere on Tybee Beach. After a years-long push from local environmental groups, Tybee City Council voted to ban smoking and vaping across the entire beach. WSAV's Brian Ray joins us live now with the new rules you need to know before you hit the sand this summer. Well, Ben and Tina, Tybee Clean Beach volunteers say cigarettes are the most littered item, and they pick up about 100,000 of them every year. There will be designated smoking areas in the parking lot, but once you hit the crossover here, you'll have to put it out. Tybee City Council's vote to make the beach smoke free marks the end of a seven year battle led by Clean Beach advocates. Uh, it can be a playground, but it doesn't have to be a junkyard. There's just so much litter on that beach, and it's time to start turning that around. And fostering a more responsible beach goer, which means don't leave your cigarette butts on the beach. Now you can't. A pilot program that expires this month bans smoking and vaping in the area surrounding the pier. But a few months back, council decided to move forward with an ordinance that extends it to the whole beach. Residents had a chance to weigh in, with more than 60% saying they're in favor of doing away with cigarettes on the beach. You know, we're one of the few beaches in the East Coast that you could smoke on. This is not unusual. It shouldn't be a surprise. The city manager says with millions of visitors coming to Tybee every year, tourists are bound to leave more than their footprints behind. He hopes the ban will help shrink the growing pile of litter. You take just a small percentage of those people and decide to discard something like that on the beach. It's tens of thousands of, of items on the beach. So the sheer volume of this is astronomical. But it's not welcome news for all beachgoers. Three council members voted against the ban, arguing people have a right to smoke on the sand if they choose. I really think this is a win for everybody. There's a few folks that are upset, naturally. They think something's been taken away, but actually something's been given to everybody, which is a clean and safe beach. The ban goes into effect on June 1st, but there's a three-week grace period where officers will just give out warnings. After that, you're faced with a $300 fine if you're caught smoking or vaping. The city manager says code enforcement is fully staffed and ready to start cracking down on the new rules. Over the next few weeks, they'll be putting up signs to make beachgoers aware. Officials also say they'll be using surveillance cameras to spot and catch smokers. Live on Tybee Island, Brian Ray, WSAV News 3, on your side.